Hi, my name is Jordan Coombs. And my name is Justin Coombs. And we are two of the founders here at War Balloon. Steve Tranby, our genius developer, is chained in a basement coding and should be allowed to see the light of day and earn some oats and water after he writes about another 45,000 lines of code. Today we want to give you a walkthrough of Star Command, a starship management game coming out for mobile, tablet, and desktop devices, including iPhone, Android, iPad, Mac, and PC. So let's get started. Star Command begins at the beginning, with the creation of your captain. You can select your gender, hair color, and even your species. As you complete missions in the game, you can even unlock strange new alien races to serve on your ship as crew members. Let's give our new badass leader a befitting name and start creating our ship. Star Command is a game that is focused on two things, your crew and your ship. When you create your ship, you will have options for color, full type, and name. Again, let's start our brand new ship off right with a badass name. Welcome to your ship. Right now, the Sparkle Magic is orbiting Earth. Your captain is your sole crew member, wandering around the halls crying himself to sleep alone at night. Selection and movement of crew members is easy to do in Star Command. You just select a crew member and touch where you want to go. We also don't want him to succumb to the loneliness of space and subsequently vent himself out an airlock. Let's give him some friends to help him run the Sparkle Magic. The crew is populated with the various species you will meet during your travels. It's inevitable that many of your crew you hire will eventually suffer through a fiery, painful, horrible death. So don't get too attached just yet. Part of the difficulty of running a ship in Star Command will be keeping the veterans alive. Their skills and experience will prove to be invaluable, and like all good games, amazingly frustrating to build back up. Let's take a look at what makes your crew tick. Here we have your crew details, including their name, assignment, and progress towards their next rank. Underneath, you have their ranking in each of the game classes. Science in blue, tactical in red, and engineering in yellow. As time goes on, your crew members' assignments will give them higher ratings in each of the appropriate areas. As your crew member gets more experience, they will rank up, allowing them to unlock skills like grenades, faster movement speeds, more health, and the ability to revive dying crew members. Now let's take a look at making shit. Each room on your ship can produce unique tokens. These tokens are used for things like research, building rooms, scanning new star systems, or upgrading rooms to become more powerful. Tokens represent your crew working and doing their jobs. It's basically a self-contained, in-game economy that requires patience and can't be bypassed by spending real money because you don't want to actually play the game. There was a time when this feature was actually considered gameplay. Remember that? Neither do we. So now that we have a few tokens, let's use them to build new rooms inside the Sparkle Magic. In Star Command, each room serves a unique and important purpose. Blue rooms are science related and can help you recharge shields or heal crew faster. Yellow rooms are engineering related and can help you dodge incoming attacks or repair more efficiently. Lastly, red rooms are the centers of death and destruction. These are tactical rooms and can help your crew do more damage and make your weapons recharge faster. All this results in the deaths of alien species that are, frankly, weaker and less worthy of continued existence. It is also important to have crew members man their posts. If you send out a crew to attack invaders or repair a hull breach, your room will function less efficiently. Each color room indicates a unique area of expertise for your crew. Blue science members have the ability to heal other crew members. Red tactical members have the ability to attack invaders. And yellow crew members can repair ship damage. Each room can be upgraded with bonuses. These range from making weapons more powerful, giving your crew perks, or just making the sparkle magic more badass than it already is. All right, so we have an elite crew ready to die for us, shipped armed to the hilt with alien destroying power and rooms that will supplement our subjugation of races to our will all throughout the universe. Let's embark upon our first mission. In Star Command, the decisions you make with other leaders can lead to important tactical advantages or one-of-a-kind rewards. In this case, we have a very hard decision to make in response to Admiral Wakari. I think we'll go with, yes sir. Now we have navigation. Here you can browse the locations in the galaxy that you're in and explore unknown areas. Unlocking other areas requires research and new tokens. For now, let's just set our destination to Mercury.
and we're off. Let's go find some hot green alien chicks. My loyal crew has discovered the mining vessel. They'll give me updates on the current status of the mission periodically. It looks like we're getting a hail. Our first contact, the Antorians. These are a warlike species that shoot first and ask questions later. And it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Switch to combat mode. During combat, the interface changes. On the top, you'll see your enemy's hull and shield status, as well as their charging weapons. On the bottom, you'll see your weapons and special abilities. Every time one of these charges, you can touch them to fire weapons, dodge attacks, and recharge your shields. Every time you fire your weapons, a minigame will pop up. Each weapon has its own unique minigame. Once your shields are down, your ship will start taking hold of you. Fires will break out, the crew can be injured, and in a worst case scenario, your hull ruptures and your crew are sucked into space. Victory! We have defeated our enemies. It looks like we need to get back to Earth to report in with Star Command, so let's do that. So, with those upgrades completed, let's head over to Venus and investigate an unidentified SOS signal. 
Now, let's sit back and see what awaits the sparkle magic in Venus. It looks like we've taken on some Idorian refugees onto our ship. We will have to defend them from any threats that may arise. Team at War Balloon, we want to thank you for watching the Star Command playthrough. There's a ton more to show, including over 12 races, other planets, ships, rooms, missions, and even pets. Star Command will be released as soon as it's polished and kicks some serious ass.